And according to sources, I can report that one of the CME Group's direct clearing firms was unable to meet its capital requirements today. And what happened then, that move forced the exchange to step in and invoke its emergency protocols to auction off the portfolios in question. Uh, Ronin Capital, based in Chicago, was confirmed to be uh, that firm. Terry Duffy, the CME Group's chairman and CEO, told me the auction process was completed this morning and said the group doesn't disclose who assumed the portfolios in that auction. But he also said that under its clearing agreement, Ronin isn't allowed to have outside clients, so there were no customers harmed in the process. That's an important point that we, we want to underscore. Now, in general, direct clearing firms like Ronin are responsible for trades made on the exchange. Now, additional sources said that Ronin's problems stemmed from positions in the VIX, or the security that tracks market volatility. We also found out today that the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, better known as the DTCC, helped coordinate the auction, later saying that it uh, had ceased to act for Ronin Capital LLC. So we wanted to bring you that breaking news just uh, really underscores uh, stress in, in all sorts of different areas of the market. And this is just one particular story to help uh, underscore that. Scott, when you say that the portfolios were auctioned off, should we understand that, you know, another firm in the markets came in and, and grabbed those assets so that, you know, kind of walk us through that process and what it tells you about uh, markets today, which had by, you know, earlier indications kind of been settling down a little bit. At least one firm, you, you have to believe, stepped in. And, and as I, I said in the report, the CME group doesn't disclose which one. But I think it's safe to assume that another one of these direct clearing firms, and by the way, there are many. Um, I don't have a, an exact number, but many, many um, likely stepped in. I wish I could give you names. I'll just try and continue the reporting on that and see if we can, can figure that out. Um, it's just an indication of you know, bets on the wrong side of the market because things are moving so quickly. We, I don't know what the VIX is. Right? You throw, throw up the 60, VIX right now. Yeah. I mean, the, the VIX was at 80, and I think it was at 60, uh, if not lower than that, uh, earlier today. So there are extreme moves in, in various parts of, of the markets and different securities. And, you know, if you're on the wrong side of that, so there is your VIX, right? It's, it's 66. It was north of 80 um, not that long ago. It's just an example of trying to get on the right side of something. And if you're caught on, on, the, on the bad side, you end up having a potential issue like Ronin had today. And then the CME group has, has to step in with their, you know, as, as they call it, their emergency protocols. Right. At least a somewhat orderly process, as it sounds from your reporting. Scott, yeah, from, from what I understand, it. it was from what I understand, it was very orderly.